We continue to remember the life of former Tennessee player and coach Johnny Majors. Majors was 85 when he passed away last night. 10 News anchor Beth Haynes joining us on the UT campus. And Beth, a lot of people sharing a lot of wonderful stories about coach. Love hearing them. So many wonderful stories about Coach Majors. His picture hanging behind me, number 45, just brings a smile to so many faces. And I'm sure you've seen many stories circulating online through tributes. Um, those that are being shared, some about him being the Heisman runner-up, losing to a Notre Dame player, and leading the Vols to three SEC championships. Another one of those stories surrounds an iconic photo for Tennessee football fans, and it is this picture it's one of the famous photos of Johnny Majors when he was coach. It was taken back in 1982 after Tennessee's win over coach Bear Bryant and Alabama. In 2013, we spoke to Majors along with the photographer who captured that shot about what it took to actually shoot that picture and what Majors says Bryant told him in that moment. Here it is. It's 1982. Tennessee just beat Alabama for the first time in 11 years. Time for the coaches to shake hands. One of my favorite pictures, it shows me on the player's shoulders. They, they rode me off on their shoulders. Among the fans rushing the field was new Sentinel photographer Michael Patrick, there to capture it through his camera. There's total panic down there. The, the first thing you're trying to do is to get the picture of the two coaches at center field. I didn't intend to be on, my show, on the shoulders of the players and and bend down to shake Coach Bryant's hand and out of respect to him. Patrick had to fight to hold his ground to get the perfect shot. I literally have one camera with black and white film in it, one camera with color film in it. And so that was one of the moments that I knew I needed. And I shot that in color. Before I jumped down, he stuck his hand up with his Helms tooth hat and he had jumped down. He says, you had a very good game plan, Johnny. <laughs> I thought we had two, but I, I said, thank you. I didn't say you're right, Coach Brad. I said, thank you. At the time, Michael Patrick didn't know his photo would still be such a major image in Tennessee history. You're so intent on covering the moment and trying to make sure that you get all the pictures that you need to have. In this case, the, the two coaches meeting after the game. So you don't think about it at the time. You're just busy trying to get it done. In his 34th year with the Sentinel, Patrick will be on the sidelines Saturday, hoping another iconic moment is just a snap away. People think it's fun to be on the sidelines, but uh, it's times like that when you, uh, <laughs> you really do panic and you try to, uh, you know, you're just trying to make sure you don't miss anything. One of many great pictures that Michael Patrick captured in his wonderful career and a great story by former WBIR sports reporter anchor Courtney Lyle.